Hello, in this problem we are being asked to write the cosine of 180 degrees minus theta as a trigonometric function of theta. Let's go ahead and work through this solution. So to do this problem, we are going to use an identity. The identity says if you have the cosine of x minus y, this is equal to the cosine of x, times the cosine of y, and then it's plus, it's the opposite sign, and then that's sine x, sine y. Okay, so really, really useful uh, trigonometric identity. So in this problem, we're just basically going to replace x with 180 and y with theta. So let me go ahead and indicate that here uh, so you see it. So x is going to be equal to 180 degrees and y is going to be equal to theta. So applying this formula to what we have here, we have cosine of 180 degrees minus theta. That's equal to cosine of 180 degrees times the cosine of theta plus, and then we have sine of 180 degrees times the sine of theta. Okay, and now we just have to figure out what uh, these trig function values are. So the way I like to do it is to think about the unit circle. So on the unit circle, every ordered pair can be represented in the form cosine theta, comma sine theta. So cosine is the x coordinate of every point on the unit circle, and sine is the y coordinate. At 180 degrees, we're here. And the most important part is to realize that the ordered pair here is negative 1, 0. Because it's the unit circle, so the radius is 1. So in this case, the cosine of 180 is going to be the x-coordinate, so that's negative 1. This is negative 1 times the cosine of theta plus and sine is the y-coordinate, so the y-coordinate at 180 degrees is 0, times sine of theta. But 0 times sine theta is 0, so this piece here is going to go away. So we just get negative 1 times cosine theta, which is negative cosine theta. And that would be a trigonometric function of theta, so we've accomplished our goal in this problem, right? Because this piece here is 0, because 0 times a number is 0. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.